All right, so I got a cool new tool here, and I thought I'd show you guys what I picked up the other day at Harbor Freight. So I got this uh, new HVLP spray gun, but this is a whole new gun that they offer now. And it says that it's designed for waterborne and oil-based paints, and it also has a high nickel or a high quality nickel plated finish. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this thing and we'll see what's in the box. Now there's the cup and the gun. Uh, something there. Oh, here's some stuff. You get your uh, tools here, your spanner wrench and a brush for cleaning the gun. It actually comes with a filter too. And then of course the operating manual and safety instructions. And that's it. Uh, here's the gun itself, which looks pretty awesome.
I guess I'll go ahead and share some final thoughts about this new Harbor Freight HVLP gun that they got now in the stores. Um, this gun is freaking sweet. Uh, I am in love with this gun for sixty dollars. Well, it was fifty nine actually. Um, take away the twenty five percent off coupon that I printed off my website. Uh, I was able to get this gun for way cheaper. Gotta love this nickel finish on it. And this thing is the easiest gun to clean. I mean, all I had to do was get some acetone on a paper towel and just wipe all the overspray. And, I mean, it, it didn't leak, but that's because I always put Teflon tape on my threads. But, uh, anyways, if you want more information, though, check out Harbor Freight. Uh, it's item 688. Four, three. So this is a Harbor Freight welding helmet, the blue, or the actually the black one with the blue flames, and this is the older version, and I picked this up about three years ago, maybe even four. I've had this helmet for a long time, so in all those years, I picked up a lot of crud, um, spatter, and smoke, and it just pretty much embedded its... Uh, all the spatter into the plastic of the helmet and it really looked like crap but uh i thought hey i got a new gun here but i tried out i didn't know what to paint so what i did though was i scuffed it down with some really heavy grit sandpaper which i shouldn't have done but i did a wet sanding of it just to take off all the uh, spatter and stuff like that and then I was going to give it with a finer grit, but I just went ahead and just painted it with a base black or a jet black from Duplicolor, which left a really nasty orange peel, which pretty much all Duplicolor paints leave a really nasty orange peel. After that, painted it over with this mixture that I mixed myself. It's um, paint with pearl flakes, uh, which were candy, lime green, or six to eight um, coats on this thing, just to build up the paint on there, because there's some pretty heavy scratches and pits, and I didn't want to use um, primer and all that stuff. I mean, this is just a quick project, which took, which took about, oh, they say four hours total i went ahead and i did the clear coat on it which was about oh, three or four coats on it and just straight uh, 2k clear and the stuff that i used was from tcp global which is their custom shop um, clear coat which is really freaking awesome um, i threw that on top of that let it flash i went ahead and i baked it on front of my uh, torpedo heater for about 45 minutes at around 150 degrees. It's gonna take a full week for this to fully cure and maybe I'll make an update video to this. But uh, that's the helmet. I mean, it looks freaking sweet. You can see the reflection of the background there. And the clear coat isn't fully, fully cured yet. Neither is the base coat. So, um, I did paint this outside. Crap got into the base coat there. Like right there and right there. But I mean, it's, I mean, I wasn't shooting for perfection. In a week's time, um, this thing is going to look just like glass.
So, really good job that gun did. But anyways, I guess I think I'll end the video there. It's going to be a long one. But, uh, that's it for this video. That's my uh, unboxing demonstration of the Central Pneumatic HVLP gun from Harbor Freight. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.